Welcome back to episode 120, yes, 120, of iPokes and Head Jokes. This guy's eating Oreos. Oreo. We figured out how to open them, which is a good thing. This is a little loud. We shall put it down a little bit. We're watching um, Blue Planet 2 on Netflix. What episode is this? Um, this one is The Deep, I believe. Oops. Hold on. No, no. No. I don't know. Yeah. It's the deep, yeah. Number two, whatever number two is. It's the deep. It's like the deep sea water, diving. deep sea, yeah, deep sea um marine animals and shit, like the translucent ones. Who's going ones. down there? Because you know when you go down there, you get the bends if you try to come up too fast. I think brave people because yeah, I yeah, because they not have to it. sit, they have to come up for like fifty feet, wait at a time, yeah, yes, and then they have to wait it's for about crazy. an hour because of the. Because the of the pressure. pressure. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Because if you come up immediately... That shit looks beautiful. It looks... Like... I need to get a 4K TV here. Because, like, yeah. that looks insane that looks on amazing. the 4K TV. But, um, so, yeah, imagine. That's 1080p, so imagine the 4K. Like, wow! Interactive. Anyways, so this week we got a few things to talk about. Um, mostly... Well, you watched... New Japan Sengoku, correct? Yes, I did. You watched two matches. I did. I watched you the did. whole thing. Actually. Oh, you watched the whole thing? Yeah, but I don't want to talk about the whole thing. It was about uh, it was about three hours. Three hours in the three back. Three and a half with that last half an hour of uh-huh. commentary of of the yeah the review. They always do that. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Um, Okada had a match. It was a tag match, and he was not the main event. Good. That's he shouldn't it, always be the main event. Yeah, that's how it should be done. He but, covered the cookies. Bastard. I didn't mean to. It mm, just it happens. It does it by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um also we're gonna talk about well, I just finished watching The Dark Side of the Ring um on Viceland. Yeah. Um one episode I watched the first one about Bruiser Brody. So we're gonna talk about so that. You just as well. watched episode three. That's episode one. No, that's not Yes it is. It says number one on the thing. Okay. On Sling. That's what it said. What does it say on your thing? It says it's episode three on Wiki. Wiki don't know everything. Okay. You want to check Viceland.com? Let me go to my trash can because I actually. Because what? <laughs> I downloaded it. You downloaded it? Yeah. You could have just used my. And name. then it says Match Made in Heaven is episode number one, Screwjob is number two, and Brody is number three. Oh, so why did Sling have it out that Sling way? Sling is stupid. That's dumb. Either way, Sling ain't right. I watched the third episode and. um... Yeah, that one was fucked up. It's fucked up, so we could talk about that. And we finally got the actual, like, what are these called? Tumblers? No, they're not called tumblers. They're just whiskey glasses, just right? whiskey glasses. Yeah. Glasses. So what the fuck is a tumbler? I know it's... A thimble? I don't know. A thimble? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wouldn't it be the same shape? Guy. So, it's what we do. We drink, and we know things. So About wrestling, apparently. Yeah. And um, also Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So, as you can see... They finally all came through. So we have Tyrion. Let's move the cookies. We can move the cookies. For now. Okay. So we have Tyrion. We have, yeah. We have Tyrion. We have John. John. We have the Night Night King. King. We have Daenerys and Cersei. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for now, we still have... both blondes. We still... Exactly. (laughs) We still have um, the Night King in front because of reasons. We could switch it up after we talk about it. Yeah, and we could really, yeah, we could really talk about it. Yeah, so, um, and we'll switch it up towards the end. But as for, na- for now, the Night King's in the lead. I'm gonna punch him, gonna punch the Night <laughs> King, because he's the reason why the show is fucking in. <laughs> no, Bran is the reason the whole show started anyway, and Bran's the reason started started and ending. Yeah, full circle. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I guess so. I get. Yeah, you're right. Gets pushed out of a window, and now all oh, hell breaks loose, and then. We're gonna get to it. Fathers and so we want to talk about first. friends. We want to talk about Sengoku. Die. About um, the matches you saw. About the matches we said we were gonna watch. I would have to look. I'm not looking up that card right now. 
happens. I can't, I can't remember. We don't have to talk about the whole thing. It was thing. a whole bunch of tag matches. talk about matches. the two matches that, the two premier matches that yeah, were. The title matches. Yeah. You don't even remember the, who the was on The two main title matches. The, uh, yes, no, I remember. It was, the first, it was Juice versus Fale. Really good match. Really good match. It, uh, big, it's kind of like a David versus Goliath story. This was Sengoku Lord and Nagoya, right? Yes, this yeah. was 420. Uh, good day. Uh, great good food. Day. Great, oh great my God. Food. Under, uh, uh, st- great food. That's great food. A, great is not the word. Shout out to B Mart for yes. telling us to come through, and um, it was it was a good time, really good time. And shout out for having us on his um, his. I don't know what to call it. I forgot what it was. I but, don't know um, what to call it. I'm gonna look. Up. Maybe a documentary type thing, if I remember correctly. I think but, it's something um, like that as well. Well, I'm gonna say shout out to C Duffy Films. Yeah, because that's that who produced well. it. That's who we were with. Exactly. Uh, everything was apparently theirs. Yeah, the food, mm-hmm. the, uh, the the location. He's part of that group too. So like, okay. um, so B Mart, like again, shout out for telling us to come through. And now um, we're doing a invite. complete opposite. Of... We are. <laughs> so, uh, hey, it happened. So, um, but so yeah, yeah four twenty about... was great. Four twenty was great. Four twenty was great. I got home and I still felt it. I felt like I woke up still feeling it. Okay, so remember when we were on the train, right? Yeah. So I was watching the movie, like half watching the movie. Yeah, because you were but definitely falling asleep. I was falling yeah. asleep. The indica was kicking in after a while, <laughs> but I was watching. Um, the food was kicking in. The food. That's what I'm saying. We, Through there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm watching. I have my like face watching the fucking phone, right? And I kept watching looking up to see you, and you I kept were... looking up too yeah. to make sure you're okay and shit too. So like, you're fucking. Then all of a sudden, I'm like it. this. I'm knocking out, and I'm opening, it, and then all of a sudden, I like. Somebody moves his foot forward, and to me, out of the corner of my eye, it looked like it was a small raccoon coming at me. <laughs> and I, the foot? And, yeah, well, and I immediately went like this. I was like, oh. then I just kept looking I'm, at the phone. I wish I would have heard that shit because I would have been crying. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, once I saw it was a foot, I was like, oh, I just went back to watching what, what's his, his What kind of like, sneaker did he have? Uh, it was just a it black like sneaker. A- it, 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 in my mind, it just formed into a fucking raccoon. It was funny, though. It that was, was whatever. the stupidest thing in the world. Yeah, that's scary too. In complete yeah, darkness, yeah, it's complete darkness. Yeah. All right, back to the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship match. Um, so it was a pretty long match. It's like a seventeen minute match. The US, yeah, that's yeah. The IWGP US Heavyweight. Yeah, it was. Heavyweight. It was pretty long. It was. It was a really good match, though. It was interesting. It was very interesting. It wasn't no super big spots, but it's. it's it was a well worked match. Yes, much. very well worked. It's Juice versus Fale. Fale and Juice kept it. Yeah, on his third defense too. I did not expect him to keep it against Fale. I was not that I didn't expect it. I Fale was a big boy. Yeah, he is. I was sitting here like, okay, how is he going to put this big boy down? How is this possible? How did he? uh, He hit him. I forgot what he calls it, but he hit him with the switch, the kill switch. The kill switch? Yeah, Christian's unprettier, the kill switch. Ah, okay. I'll be adding some um, photos so y'all can see, like, from... um, The food. Oh, I do have food photos. You're right. Yeah, and also I'm like some New Japan stuff, like some yeah, photos just, of like the match. And since we're talking about it, the food is actually made with THC. Well, with or cannabis, marijuana? yeah, with cannabis, yeah. It was, yeah. It was fun. It was great. It was infused, yes, not even was, made yes, with. It's yes, infused yes. with it. Um, which oddly enough, funny, like think talking about that, like I was on Vice and watching it earlier, um, and there was a commercial for a show called. Bong Appetit, where yeah. they're making infused foods with cannabis. I haven't watched that show ever, but it's been on for and, a while. Yeah, I didn't know that. So yeah. I was like, oh, Tuesday's at nine. So I'll watch it tomorrow and see you. Like, what's I think it's up? It's on Hulu as well. So it might be. Because yeah. if it's on Viceland, then yeah, it might be. So, um, but yeah, I found it interesting. I was like, oh, shit, B, look. And he was just like, oh, cool. So, yeah. I'm the shit on him. Like, dang, shit, they ain't got <laughs> nothing on us. We better. But- I- um, so the next match, the next match, IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Now, Kota Ibushi that, versus Zack Saber Jr. That was a very different match. I, I'm sure it was hard hitting. Yes, very hard hitting Obviously. for the whole match. Uh, you know the spot where he usually like where uh, Kota Ibushi usually does the German suplex from outside the, the ring into oh, the yeah, ring. Into the ring. Mm-hmm. Zach was not letting that happen. <laughs> Zach was not having it. He was it. not. It was it, and it was he does it into a pin, right? Yeah. yeah. No, sometimes no. he. Not really. He doesn't do it much. Okay. But 
But yeah. Yeah, he, he does it. He tries to deadlift him. And yes, so, yeah. and he damn near deadlift him, but Zach turned it into like, put him in, in a suplex maneuver, but didn't hit. So they're basically like just rumbling around and, and nothing happens, but they fall off and Kota hits him with a, with a nice fucking kick. But with the Kamigoya? Yeah? No, no. Just Oh, he just fucking Yeah, just a kick him. from that moment. But it was yeah, it like you never know what was gonna happen during the whole match. Cause it was hard hitting. Mm-hmm. The pace was 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 back and forth. It was fast, it was slow, it it was it was it's it was what it was supposed to be. It wasn't too what fast, it wasn't it too be. slow. Yeah. Exactly. It was back and forth. It was some submissions from from Zach. It was great. Good. It was great. That's very good. And that's what I have to say about that. I have to watch far as See how again. quick that was? See how quick that was? There's two matches. Exactly. Um, so after this we could talk about the since I we just I we just finished watching the um Bruiser Brody thing, the Viceland um yeah. Dark Side of the Ring. So I don't um, want to talk about all three episodes. No, we haven't we, seen it yet. I know. I mean I'm gonna watch the other. We could talk about the other two, Next or maybe week. the other three, because yeah. they're gonna have a new episode probably this week. Yeah. Um, we could talk about those when it and comes. And that's supposed to, to be Devon Eric's. But the problem who is, I'm not familiar with. This is the problem. Me either. But this is the problem. Next, this upcoming Sunday is the Battle of the Winterfell, and like that might take up the whole podcast. We're gonna have to try well, to crunch shit, everything we'll in. Just crunch that shit in, yeah. though. Um, but we can talk about Randy and um, Elizabeth a little bit that you do know. Well, yeah. I mean, I, uh, to be fair, like I know, I know some, and but yeah. that some is like very, very minor. To but be they went with into it a lot. They went into that's like, why I want to watch how it. they met, before they met, after they met, or after they divorced, after yeah. she passed, and when he passed. Like that's yeah. pretty much. Oh, they went super like pretty much life into it. Yes, yeah, yeah. and that's what Match Made in Heaven. Gotcha. Oh, okay, makes sense. Because they both died gotcha. and gotcha. the storyline before or well, after she passed. Yeah. And even with um the interviews with, with Lex Luger, him talking to um Bischoff. Okay. About it. And Bischoff was like, I hated the guy because I saw it happening. I knew. And He like, hated who? Macho? Uh, no, no, he Luger? hated Lex. Oh, okay. He hated Lex because he was he was seeing things. Yeah. He just did, he didn't step in, but he knew what was happening. He mm. kind of knew some stuff, but it's more about how everything ended. Because why wouldn't you? Why would you keep? Why would you make this a habit? And do, by doing it so much, there's a part in the, in the there's a part where Scott was saying that she was taking the stuff that we were taking. Damn. She was. They were taking, and they were taking the same amount. That's crazy. You're yeah, not supposed to. like that's a different kind of addiction because if the wrestlers are two two fifty three hundred mm-hmm. pounds and, and you're like one, she's one fifty wet, soaking wet, yeah, exactly, soaking and sopping wet in, in the heaviest of, of clothes. Couldn't imagine how that fuck fucked her, up yeah. she was feeling. All right, all right, I gotta watch that. So yeah, you, you <laughs> have to watch, watch that. that. But we can talk about um, Bruzy Broder since. Bruh. You said that completely Bruh, I backwards. Know, I know. <laughs> That's funny. Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody. We can talk about um, that. That's a episode. fucked up situation, yeah. man. That whole thing. Like, I completely understand, like, a lot of people wouldn't like him because of the way, like... What, like who? Wouldn't like Bruiser Brody because of the f- way they wrestled. But that's how they wrestled back then. Like, they and tried to blend real all with. K-fave. Exactly. So, so you didn't know what was real and yeah. what was fake then. Yeah. So, um. So I'm kind of happy K Fabe is kind of dead. Yeah. Because at least you can know what's really going on. Yeah. Back then, you couldn't really differentiate. At all. Like, um. And for somebody to actually kill somebody else, like, a, one wrestler kills another wrestler. And think it's okay to do just because you had beef with them. That's that's not. And then the wrestler that kills the guy is part owner of the company. Exactly. So to do that, and the fact that dude still showed up to work, it's crazy. Wearing new clothes, he still showed up to work. That is crazy to me. Like I, I get it. That's dedication to your job and shit. But at the same, no, time, that's not dedication. That's being a psycho. Yeah. Yeah, well, psychos are dedication. <laughs> They're dedicated. You saw Dexter. Very, very true. All right. Very true. You're right. I never You're watched right. it, but I know that he was killing people that was killers, and he would still work. And he was 
he was a coroner, right? I don't mind the fucking concept of a Dexter being out there, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't. No, I get that. No. Kill the bad we, people. Yeah, because the thing is, yes, what's going to stop him from branching off into killing like regular normal people? But yeah. if we have that code or something like that, it's... Watching a show, and it might be an unpopular opinion. Clearly, it's morals. But, yeah, and and to take it back to the to the show, mm-hmm. Tony Atlas has morals, yeah. and you can't help but feel bad for Tony Atlas and the whole thing because like yeah, because you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, because it's kind of like you walked in and felt the tension. It's kind of like knew there was something. Yeah, that, and that's what it is. You knew something was going on. You couldn't really tell what was going on, and when it happened. It happens too fast for you to to react to it, and you can only, or even stop it from happening, and you can only react to it afterwards, after to what happened. Like, yeah. dude said he had to help him put his intestines back in his body after he got stabbed twice. One stab, yeah. one in the abdomen. And one in the back. And one, and one exactly. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I think it was like in the chest or in the, I'm not entirely sure. It was eight inches. I don't know which way it went through, but yeah, I know his... It's, yeah. It's insane, and um, then for him to for that for him to be in danger, um, the fact that he went back to work, so it goes yeah, who went to, back it. to work. Atlas, yes, he went back to work too because he had nowhere else to go. He thought the show was canceled. He was probably just getting his shit to leave. Yeah, he was probably just, but he still stepped in that ring. He went to work afterwards. Yes. Oh, I didn't see that part. Yeah, he went to work. He still went to work. Well, you're trying to distract yourself from the whole situation, too. Yeah. I could understand that. And you also yeah. somewhat, as callous as it sounds, you still have to make your money. You were booked for that appearance. Well, shit, and no, but no, then, then at the no. Same, but then at the same Fuck time, no, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. But then at the same time, there is, like, the moral standpoint, like, where you should be like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking wrestle after this. Yeah, I'm not. Um, dude, uh, Atlas said the craziest thing was I went back to the... Went back to the place and it's still business as usual. Yeah, like they were fucking Dudes laughing, laughing, making jokes yeah, and shit. Yeah, blood like all over the floor. Crazy. That's that's it's insane. And, and he, I forgot who he said he got in the ring with, but they're talking as a collar and elbow as as they're about what happened. Yes, that's he's like, crazy. yo, I think he said it was a sheik or somebody like that, and he said, oh, uh, how's he doing? Ah, oh, fuck that fan, fuck the fan, because he said it was a fan that yeah. did it. He's like, no, it wasn't the fan. It was Invader. Dude got out. Whoever uh, Tony was fighting got out of the ring, stopped, and went. <laughs> Just went to the back. Yeah, middle of the match. Yeah, not even the middle of the match. He said it, w- it didn't even last five minutes, three minutes. Damn. Yeah. So. And yeah, just a blatant lie yeah. to say, "Hey, it was a fan that stabbed him." Yeah. When. It, it's just fucking crazy. It, it and like you said, it is like a fucking gang mentality. At least back then, like. Take care of your own. But it's like, it's what would it cause you? <laughs> yes. What would it cause somebody? Yeah, you have beef with somebody. Yeah. People have beef all the time. And yes, people will either get shot or stabbed or whatever. This and that. He was it trying happens. to buy it in, I think. He was, he was trying to buy more shares. But that's not... That's, what the fuck was stabbing him going to do? Your shit went defunct anyway in the long run. So what... Yeah. What did you accomplish? Doing fucking birthday parties now? Yeah, that's that's what that's what you accomplished. That's exactly what happened. Now, now you have no job. Now you don't work. Now you work for the bare minimum. You don't even get hundreds of dollars. You get maybe a couple of pesos. The fact that they use dollar, you idiot! It's no, no, no. fucking United States. I know. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, I said it. it's United States. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm sorry. I don't need a passport anyway so they really don't use pesos anymore no they, they've they been using dollars for years yeah, somebody needs to tell trump that shit why he keeps saying pesos no he i'm sure he believes it's pesos probably, <laughs> probably. um but the whole situation is fucked up i like the i like that people are like so frank and so real about it whoever is being um or bullshitting real hard like the other dude um abdul little bush abdul he had his moments um dutch had a moment too I, forget, I, I can't call what the moment was, but he had a moment of bullshit where he's like, okay, I'm still not going to say nothing. And I get it. It's still like, it's still some ways that you have to move around because Abdullah the Butcher is not a WWE Hall of Famer. No. He can't, he can't do and say and move how Tony Atlas moves. 
Dutch Mantel, he's not a Hall of Famer yet. He will be. He will be, for sure. He will be, but he's not, so he still has to work certain venues in certain places. Last I heard, he was working with Impact Wrestling, and they have a deal with CMLL and AAA. That's in Mexico, so who gives a fuck? Close enough. No, it's not. I know. Don't be Trump. Don't be Trump. No, it's not even that. It's the fact that it's still connections. Eh. It's still, I get it, it, but it can still possible. Me personally, I would, if I don't know, if I don't know much and I don't know much, I'm still going to feel kind of weary being in. No, you're going to watch your step. You're going to tread softly here and there still. Exactly. Because not exactly, but they're cousins. It's like, it's, it's still, it's close, but not that close. Look at that, that as well. That's what that is. Yeah. You don't see the teeth at the bottom? I do, but. Don't like it's a sperm oil. It's a dead sperm oil. No, it's not what you think. Stop it. I didn't say nothing. I just <laughs> I know what a sperm oil. I don't is. even know why it's called a sperm oil. To be honest, that's why the seed's so salty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are we talking about now? Uh, honestly, now we could just like <clears throat> move on to um Game of Thrones. Honestly, There's um, much else. just want to but say two things. That should watch fucking. Since we're still talking about wrestling, obviously it's a wrestling podcast. Let's just definitely watch that shit on Viceland. If yeah. you have Viceland, if you have access to it, definitely watch it because it's, it's three super episodes. Interesting. It's, it's supposed to be four episodes, um, six, six episodes. episodes all together. Yeah, I can't wait for the Mula episode. Whores galore. Whores galore. Whores galore. Please be whores galore. It has to be. I want to know. I want to know what the fuck went down with who and what and when. Yes, and I want to know how. who the whores were. Yeah. Is that yeah. bad? No, no judgment. No, no judgment. it's no judging on anything that happened. But it's like, it's yeah. it happened. Yeah, it's it's part of people knew it's about the it. Oldest job in the world. It is. It literally is. So I'm all for that it. and masonry, oldest jobs in the world. Yeah. So yeah. those are yeah, that, that episode. I'm really interested look at them in. sharks. I'm oh, really hungry. interested in the Von Erichs episodes because I'm unaware. Of who they yeah, are. Yeah, I'm not too versed in them or knowledgeable. I know they were a that. tag team, but I, I, that's some that's something I want to be informed. I about. think it might be the Von Erich tragedy, like the family tragedy, like yeah. I, like everybody like fucking died off, damn near like kids and all that. So it's fucking crazy. I know. Um, I know at one point, uh, crime and sports, like they kind of talked about it in a half in a like roundabout way. Yeah, but not really. Um. It didn't pertain much to the episode, but like he kind of spoke about like what the whole stigma was with the Von Erics. It's, it's fucked up. It's that's why I want to see that episode. It's fucked up. Yeah. I just feel like these episodes are too fucking short. <laughs> Damn near an hour. I know, but it, it's it's they, like, no. You could go way more in depth yeah, with a lot of shit. I just wish more people would also talk too. Yeah. But and that's the other thing. Yeah. More people need to talk. Yeah. So I, I'm sure more people want to talk about this fabulous Mula mm-hmm. shit. I just wish she was still alive to talk about this shit. Yeah. It's 07? They yeah. They could have started this in 07. 06. Viceland didn't even exist. I know. Well, the producers were around, so... And they, I'm pretty sure... But Viceland gives you the platform to be able to do shit I'm like this. I'm not saying that That's they should the have aired it immediately. They should have at least... Because they got old footage of... Um, True. Of Cologne. True, you're about. right. So... You're right. And that was from some random shoot interview. So, yeah. He has... Shark fights. Shark fights. It's gonna, he's going to gum him down. Oh, he took a whole fin. And he I don't even it. feel it. Told you. Oh, he was supposed to. Fucking greedy asses. So this is old. You know if sharks stop swimming, they die? If they stop swimming? They're always like slightly swimming. Even like if they're resting. Yeah. They're always like gliding through the water. It's weird, dude. So they die if they stop if they don't. I don't. Move. I don't know what the mechanic is, but it's. I, when I heard that, I was like, "What? I don't know if it's true." Is but this a true? Like, is this a true fact, though? Let's check the Googles. Please but, check um, it. Because I don't know whether to believe that or not. But I do have two more things I want to talk about. Not even really talk about two things I want to mention. Oh shit! Actually, three. Hurry up! Mention them. Um, we gotta get into these thrones. One thing is, I want to say. Oh, it's a myth. Okay, R.I.P. to UFC veteran Rodrigo de Lima, killed in a hit and run in Brazil. 
Oh, that's trash. Yeah. Too far. Huh. It's a trash way for a wrestler to go out. For MMA. Anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone for that matter. Yeah, definitely. Fucking punks. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to talk about the Crockett Cup, which is coming up this weekend, this Saturday. Mm-hmm. Can talk about that? We got like two minutes because, you know, we got a. I I know, I know, I know. Uh, There's supposed to be 10, 11 matches. Three matches are unknown at the time. Uh, Nick Aldis versus Marty Scroll for the heavyweight title of, of the Do we NWA. just have to watch that? Yes, definitely that's the only thing I watch. Uh, this, also, NWA National Championship, uh, Willie Mack versus Colt Cabana. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then there's going to be, Sienna's going to have a match with someone who we don't know. Okay. We do not know because it was supposed to be Jazz, but for some reason, health and otherwise, at the time, she cannot. She can't defend her title. She can't defend her title. Gotcha. She's she's vacating it, so we don't know who's who is gonna be against. And I'm not sure if this match is gonna be for the women's title or not now. But it was supposed to be Jazz versus Sienna. That's no longer happening. There's gonna be oh. a tag team battle royal. Uh the it's br- not bullshit. It's Sorry. not. The so much, it says the great white church die if they stop swimming and Obligate ram ventilators are sharks that have lost the ability and the nece- the necessary ato- bleh, the necessary anatomy for buccal pumping and instead can only respire using ram ventilation. Sharks from this group, which include great white mako and whale sharks, would indeed die from a lack of oxygen if they stop swimming. Okay, so it's only three sharks. Three types. Still, it's, it's only three up. sharks in the whole universe. Whatever. Continue. Uh, also, the Briscoe brothers are going to go against the Rock and Roll Express, Phil Enterprise, Brody King, and PCO going against T- Satoshi Kojima and Yugi Nagata. I'm sorry, repeat that one more time? No! <laughs> really? You want me to do that? I didn't hear it. <laughs> really? PCO and, Brody, uh, PCO and Brody King are going mm-hmm. against Satoshi Kojima and Yoji. Nagata, I'm, I know I said his right. first, I know I said his name his first name wrong. Yugi, Yugi. You yeah. never watched Yu Gi Oh? No, I've never watched Yu Gi Oh. You never heard of Yu Gi Oh? I have, but okay, I, I try to erase that shit from my mind so many times. Look, it was such a bad anime that it was good. All right, don't hate on the heart of the cards. I just, don't, I don't, just, just stop. Never was into it. I never cared about stop. it. I just saw it. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's all about the heart of the cards. And then what's the new one that all the kids run like? I don't care. You run like this. <laughs> well, they kids run like this. That shit is trash. <laughs> it's Naruto so has stupid. always been trash. <laughs> so trash. Kids are so stupid. <laughs> Everyone's like, are you serious? That's a, that's a good anime. Shut the fuck up. No, it's not. Uh, and a- nobody runs like this. Nobody. Silly kids. Um. Oh, and that uh, the tag matches are just the two tag matches I just said are part of the Crockett Cup. That's why the last three matches are unknown. Okay. Also, another tag match is, for the Crockett Cup is Flip Gordon and Bandito versus G- Gadetto Maya Junior and Stuka Junior. Last tag team match from the from the from the uh, first round is the War Kings Crimson and Jax. Dane versus whoever wins the 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 tag team battle royal. So there's that, and uh, I'm just really sad that Jazz has to drop the title. Yeah, it's trash. The, this way, she has to vacate the title after a thousand plus days. Like I, I'd rather not, but for whatever reason, she can't see herself going on for X amount of days. Uh, because she just announced it today, so she apparently can't even make it a week to even be there at the Crockett yeah. Cup. So, uh, it's clearly serious. So. Yeah, it has yeah. to be. So get well soon. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Pulling for you. Hopefully, you'll come back and, and add a thousand more days to own the exactly. title. Exactly. So. Whoop that ass. Yes, yes. Uh, Want to talk about being the elite or no? Not really. Yeah. I mean, we talked about how we knew. We kind of we talked about it on Saturday, how we knew that... Um. That it was gonna be Dusty. It was gonna be Dusty versus Cody. I did see the promo you today. Said the wrong name is Dustin. Dustin, my bad. Sorry, yeah. Dustin versus Cody. Yeah. Um, he retired the whole gold dust gimmick, and um, congrats. Like it's he's held it for like thirty plus years. Yeah, he's, and that's he's fucking been amazing. Gold dust on and off since ninety. It's eighty eight, bro. Damn near. Like, I don't remember eighty eight. Well, he's been wrestling for thirty years. Okay, but, yeah. yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, like well, like we said, we knew it was going to happen. Um, I did like the promo that he shot for it and everything, talking like about his brother. Oh, we're going to get Hill, Hill, Cody. And oh, yeah. Gonna it's going to be fucking Like, great. that was, the, that's, that, that's all I kept thinking that's, about. Yeah, for that's the, the, the easy <laughs> in for that. So, he was like, oh, he's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Like, he didn't grow up like he's I did. Such an he said asshole. I was never there for him, blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, all right, it's setting it up right. And gold as being gold as yeah. we know he could do his fucking promos. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. or Dustin being Dustin, we know he could do his promos. So, um, even like the the funny thing is when he's um putting away the gold dust stuff, like they he put Game of Thrones music at the end. Yeah, like, so it was very the, and I was like, of course he would fucking put yeah. Game of Thrones music. Um, but no, yeah, I mean we know what's gonna happen. It's it wasn't. Yeah, they signed. They signed a couple of new acts. Yeah, they did. We have three librarians, I think. Apparently, two or three. Two, I think. Two so far. Yeah. Yes, it's Lever Bates and um, I forgot the other guy's name. They also signed a tag team. Private, uh, private party. I guess I believe that's their name. A private dancers, whatever. I don't know. I know it's not private dancers. Dancer for private, do what you want me to do. No, all right, anyways. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, there's not nothing. Yeah, I think to talk that's about. it pretty much. Um, we're recording on a Monday, so like we're not watching Raw, we're not watching SmackDown. I was about to put it on my, on my laptop, but <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not wasting no, my time. Not no, yeah. yeah, um, so Game of Thrones episode two, A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. I did not say seven, right? A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Um, you, sound, you sound like Tony Atlas saying miserable. 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 He said I don't know there was two Bs in miserable for him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and miserable. But. They have the Wells Fargo. Arena. So, who gives a fuck? Stop talking about that shit. We don't care about WWE right now. Especially since they try to put the fucking money in the bank pay per view on the same night as a series finale of fucking Game of Thrones. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you know what I'm not going to watch? Money in the Bay. <laughs> no, nobody is. Um, I'll watch it three days later. Yeah. No, you know why? Because three days later, we're going to be in fucking Vegas already. So, this is true. This yeah. This is true. I'm not going to watch. Sorry, WWE. <laughs> I'm not going to watch. Um, oh, we could probably watch it on the flight. I, yeah, I'm not hey, going to watch. Know? I will watch somebody else's movie. Money in the Bank is always good to watch. It's one of the better pay-per-views. You can just watch the last two matches, the ladder matches, and that's it. I don't know whether to believe this or not. Whatever, we have to see the card. Anyways, so episode, yeah, uh, episode, episode two, two of Game of Thrones. Um, Dos. A lot of, a lot of exposition in this one. Mm-hmm. This was pretty much the. This is kind of like the go home episode, almost, <laughs> if you would, if you will, before the pay per view. Yeah. Kind of. It's yeah. like you're setting up like the final battles and everything. Yeah. And um, so how? So if this is the final battle. No. Well, with the White Walkers at least. So, let's get through some things. Um, for the most part, uh, this episode focused on the human condition a lot, a lot. A Would lot, you agree? It's a lot of people in the ring right now. Um, Stop watching. I, I am. I'm gonna do what I did last week. I don't even mean to pull that up. Fucking loser. <laughs> don't be Anyways. a hater. Yes, Anyways, talk about um, it. What are you doing? Oh, you're just going to do that? Yes. That's what I did last week. Okay, I could just do that. And it looks orange. Okay, there you go. Same. It always looks orange, but orange then is, it looks red afterwards. Orange is cool. Um, So it, there was a lot of like exposition on the human condition and whatever, like the last remnants of like the whole doubts and whatever, because... Yeah. Things they, you, they're, they're going into possible certain death. Yeah, it's like things you part. do before you die. Exactly. You, it's your bucket list. The things that you can check off your bucket list. This is pretty the much... The day before you know Pretty much over. the Avengers and this are like going in tandem. Yeah. At the same time. They're like, all right, we got to build up. It's been a couple of years since this happened. And we're going to go either go fuck up Thanos or get fucked by Thanos again. So... I hope they get fucked by Thanos again. It's not going to happen, but hey. You really do? I don't. Why? I kind of hope. Why? Okay, one of them has to win. Either the Night King wins or the fucking or Thanos wins. As much as I am a villain enthusiast, I don't believe either one of those. One of them has to win. Either way. So, there was one really cool moment. <laughs> He's talking to the Night King. I don't like blue. <laughs> he's blue. He's, he's Are you blue. eating him? 
No, I'm eating a dragon. Oh. Uh, um, uh, yeah. I'm eating a blue dragon. <laughs> a blue eyes white dragon from Yu Gi Oh! Heart of the card. Sorry, I had to. It was so easy. It does have blue eyes and it is a white dragon, technically, kind of. So, yeah. Yeah. I made that joke when I first saw that dragon. I was like, yes! Yeah. Um, so, the really cool moment for me in the whole, um, in the whole episode, one of the really cool moments actually was when um, they were like huddled around inside around the fire, talking and mm-hmm. drinking. And I love Rory. Oh, I love Rory. Who? The redhead one. That's uh, why are you calling him Rory? What is his name? Tormund, Giant's Bane. I don't fucking know. He's, he's obviously Irish. I don't know. <laughs> he's fucking hilarious. One. <laughs> I think that's his real name. Oh, it might be. But he's fucking that's what hilarious. I'm for today. Fucking hilarious. Um, that whole scene with him, like him drinking why, the fucking whole ass. Why is he of, drinking like um, that? Giants or goats, whatever the fucking type of milk he's drinking. Yeah. Like giants the whole wife thing. Tit yeah. Milk. <laughs> and then, that, that story was great. <laughs> the, the story was fucking hilarious. Like he fucking so killed a giant. So, that's how I got at so ten strong. years old. <laughs> went and suckled on the teat of the female giant because she thought he was his kid. Who the fuck does that? And then he proceeds to drink it. I believe that. That was great. I, I, I don't. I don't discount it. I would I love to see like a flashback type thing of that. Oh, that would have been, been amazing. That's a real story that we need. To, that's a real yeah. movie that we need. Yeah. I believe it because make a re- movie about Tormund. That's that's him. That's gonna be great. I believe it because you gotta remember. But he was like, "Is the big woman there?" <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking so excited. Great. He was like, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's great. But I could believe it because that's like medieval times. What was their life expectancy? Thirty five, thirty six. If you're lucky. If you're lucky, so. And they were well cared for, maybe like sixty. Yeah, and that's if you're you're like a king of a king, but not really a king. Yeah. That's like if you're if fam- you're royalty, it's yes. damn near, or like a lord, you're part of lordship. the royal family, and you can oh. like if you're like yeah. Tyrion, yeah, you can exactly. actually talk your way out of being killed, exactly. Because like yeah, yeah, like for him to do that at ten, how old do you think he is realistically in that in the show? Thirty something. Yeah. Yeah. About. Yeah, I would say maybe even 20 something. Nah, he's like 34, <laughs> 35. Possibly, possibly. Yeah. But either but yeah. way, like, the other cool part of that was when um they were talking about like her being, not being a knight. And she yeah. was like, oh, yeah, no, I really didn't want. They're like, what are you talking about? Like, you it's wouldn't be this way. You wouldn't be this way if, um, if you didn't want to be a knight, and like when Jamie was like, "You don't need a king to knight you. You just you need don't, a knight. Exactly, you need a knight to knight you. That's like that's how it goes." With and she the, said, "He said Neil. He, yeah, she looked at him like she, she was like, "What are you here. doing?" And don't he's play like, with me. "He's like, what are you doing?" He's like, like, "Come Neil, no, come Neil." Yeah, and that was like super done. dope because like that whole thing like that was their one of her. They relate the the chemistry and the relationship yeah. between those two characters like. They both helped each other grow, mm-hmm. both characters, which was amazing. And um, for me, Jamie's arc and his transformation of his character from fucking arrogant asshole yeah. to like an honorable person now and somebody that will fight for like what's right now at this the point. Things you actually do, being a knight. The things we'll you get do to that. With, we'll get to that. one hand. Exactly. Exactly. Once you actually really learn your lesson yeah. and get humbled, like yeah, he been, completely yeah, changed completely from that. Humbled. Yeah. And um, just that whole scene was dope. I wish they kind of would have like all stood around her, like and watched the whole thing, like a real knighting ceremony, yeah. and it would have been dope. But like the fact that they clapped and whatever, and like even Tyrion was Sir Brienne of the, you know, yeah, and that, that was like, like really Sir Lady dope. Brienne. Yeah, <laughs> he said Sir Brienne of Tarth. Like yeah. that, that shit was yeah. dope. That whole thing for me was actually that really was great. Cool. That, that made it her episode. Yeah, that that's, made it her that's episode. definitely for sure one of them. Um, we don't have her here. Um, so get the Night King the fuck out of here. <laughs> another, way, throw him away. Another good Take him out the moment tr- for the me, phone. honestly, was um when Theon came back and Sansa saw him. Like that was a feel go feel yeah. good moment because like despite everything that Theon did, she still remembers what he did for her in the yeah. long run. Like afterwards, with um, I mean, he was a piece of shit, but he was he was like, a piece of shit, yeah. but he was a confused piece of shit for the yeah. most part because even after he did what he, he was did, tortured. even after he did what he did, uh, Winterfell, um, when he was leaving the North and being like tricked by Ramsay Bolton, he mm-hmm. said, "Damn, I killed my real father. Like my real father died in in King's Landing." Yeah, 
not talk he was talking about Ned Stark clearly yeah. not about his own um father and um so for him to come back full circle and to for him to even say like hey I'm gonna defend Bron like I'll I'll be the not Bron Bran and I'll be the one there with him um because they're gonna use Bran as like bait for yeah. the for the Night King like that shows that he wants to redeem himself overall and he's probably gonna die because of it. That's how we know he. That's how yeah. we know the movie. The movie. The show is over yeah. because of that. Yeah. Everyone dies. Everybody. Night King this, kills everyone. This setup this. was. This episode was a setup to pretty much foreshadow who's gonna die in the next episode. So, for example, the whole thing with Brienne. She became a knight, right? Mm-hmm. She said she's leading the vanguard on the left flank, correct? Yeah. And Jamie said, "Hey, if you'll have me, I'll serve beneath you and whatever this and that." Again, being humble. Brienne's probably gonna die. She achieved her life's goal. She achieved yeah. her oath from um from Caitlyn Stark, Catelyn, not Caitlyn, yeah. Catelyn Stark, and um she's protected Sansa and Arya to the best of her abilities already. So you kind of fulfilled your life goals and what yeah. you set out to do in the show as a whole or in the series as a whole. There's nothing else for her to do. There's nothing else than, for her to do other than a heroic ending. Or maybe maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Hopefully I am, but. It's all set up for her, like... My thing is, like, okay, who gets... Because uh, Jamie is the King Slayer. Yeah. Who gets to be the Night Slayer? I don't know yet. That's my thing. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Like, I, I love the, the, the villain of the show, but... for Because the villain end, is surrounded in so much mystery still to this point. Yes, yes, exactly. So my thing is, okay... Because now we know... He should that, die, and there should be no... Now villain. we know that... It should switch from him to Cersei being the final villain. Yes. And I get what yeah. you get. I, I understand yeah. what you're getting to. But at the same time, Bran, now that we know that um, Bran revealed why he wants to come and kill everything. Yeah. Because Bran is the fi- is a memory of the world, technically, of all humans, of everything that's alive. Which makes sense, technically. Yeah, it does. It, and it's kind of fucking scary. Too. Yeah. That's why he's like, I'm not Brandon anymore. Yeah, so exactly. I get it. I get it. Um, now that we know that, it's definitely going to come down to that. Maybe a dragon fire ride or something like that. Or somebody's mm-hmm. going to do something. I don't know. But so I'm picking, at this point, Brienne to die. Theon to die, for sure. Um, Podrick, even, as good as he got. To like to the point where he's like Which trained. One is Podrick, again? Podrick was the one that um Tyrion's boy, and then he he wants to start serving with um Brienne as well. The one that she was teaching how to fucking fight. The young dude. The young dude. Yeah. Arya's dude. But, all right, no, that's Gendry. Okay. Podrick was the one that <sighs> was Sir Ellen Payne's like I'm, yeah nephew or some shit like that. And um, now, like, he has long hair. He looks badass. He's, like, fucking training the Winterfell <laughs> forces and shit. Like, yeah. fucking with one arm. Ding, 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 ding. Get the fuck out of here. I was he's just like, like, slow down. I was like, all right, like, Podrick. I was like, fuck him up. And Jamie's um, like, oh, yeah, he's... He's, he's, he's come a long he's way, come yeah. Long way. I was like, oh, <laughs> she's like, she's like, eh, he still has some more to go. Which means, like, yeah. he has come a really long yeah. way. Um, if Jamie's saying it on top of that. Uh, no Jamie. There's no Jamie here. <laughs> At the end, he might be the one that I have to get and put like in the front. Cause yes, he. This is the one wanted, thing. He kind of won this episode. Thing. He's not dead, although he this should is be the dead thing. based on all. Yeah, based on everything he's done. Thing. Yes, and um, the one line that was dope when he was talking about it, like, yes, I did that. I don't regret any of the, of that. Blah blah. blah I was that. sitting there when like, Bran, holy when Bran, <laughs> when Bran said the things we do for love, I was like. Don't do it. I was like, don't fucking shit. I was like, don't shit all over everything. And he didn't. I to wish his he credit. I, I wish he because he doesn't, he yeah. doesn't feel that like animosity because he's not Bran anymore. Yeah. He just knows what's he going knows, on. He remembers what happened and to he, his body yeah. and other people in general. And he also tells him, he was like, he was like, well, if you were dead, you can't help us. So, which yeah. might give him like well, another. And it's not just about things like. It's a, it's a grander that, scheme at this point. Yes, too. and him saying that isn't just about him; it's also about the other things that he's done just for love. Exactly, like even fucked over his own brother. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just. And Tyrion about- said it too. He was like, he was like, you were never like fooled by, you were never fooled by Cersei. Yeah, he was you like, you just, knew what you already she know was. what she was, and you went along with it because you were in love with her. Yeah. So it's like he's like, she never fooled you. Fucking idiot. Yeah, and like you saw his face, like oh shit, like it's like you, you knew. got a point exactly. You knew. Um, like, yeah, I know, but you didn't know, you idiot. Okay, so I have to ask you because everybody on Twitter was having a meltdown. <laughs> everybody had felt some type of way about it. 
The foot I, just stepping in. Huh? They said the foot just stepping in at the end of the episode. No, that no, was kind of no. Cool. I'm not talking about that. I like that. That's I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the sex scene with Arya and. Oh Gendry. yeah, because people don't understand how old she actually is. Say that to the camera, please, no. to Nadia. Nadia, listen to what the fuck he's saying. She's actually 21. She's 22 in real life. Okay, see, she just did an interview. In the show, she's 18. Really? Now. Yeah. She was like 10 or 11 when she was in the sh- when she started when they started. The I never series. knew her age in the show. I just knew she was always she was a baby. She's the yeah. young. She's the youngest star. A lot of people were saying like, like "Oh, star, I'm so yeah. uncomfortable because." It's like my little sister's yeah, having sex. Yeah, no, you know what? Yeah. Your little sister's going to have sex eventually. Unfortunately. I'm so happy I don't have a younger sister. Yeah, I have an older sister and she has a child. <laughs> How does she have a child? It didn't drop from the sky. I'm sorry, stork, it didn't. The stork came. The stork didn't know. The stork was something else. I'm Did sorry. Did you not see the movie The Stork? No. It's a great movie. Either way. <laughs> shut up. Either way. I understand the weirdness with it but at the same time you have to understand she's a woman at this point she's been weird, through her yeah. and this yeah. is the, this the weirdness is the, is, the, is the growth and watching from watching the her season. exactly yeah. so if you've seen her since she was an actual little kid to now being a woman it's like yeah it might be weird for you at first but you should also understand the circumstances behind all that me and no listen the weirdness should be in going back to watch to start binging all over again, and then you see um, everyone else's naked body. Exactly. The age, the so the age on their face from now, yeah. from the from this season to first season, it's is fucking yeah. That's everybody, weird. everybody. Yes, that's weird to me. Yeah. So the crazy thing is, like, I had this conversation at work too. People were like, "Oh yeah, if it was Sansa, I was like, I was like, I bet if it was Sansa, y'all wouldn't have given a fuck." The, Which is we, true. Yes, because we've seen her in that position. Not really. We we seen her. We saw her kind unclothed. of get raped. That's what we kind unclothed of unclothed and tortured. Yeah, yeah. We've seen that, and we've seen her get violated. Technically, yes. not yeah. like she never had like any full frontal like nakedness yeah. or anything like that. But and she, this but wasn't you, even really yeah. full frontal nakedness from her either. It, it was, was at just an angle. Her back. Yeah, it was a. It was her back, her ass a bit, and a side boob. And listen, this animation. And it's, she, it's, 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 I think it's, a lot of it was probably CGI too. Of course too. it is. Like so, the, the same thing with Daenerys. It's color correction. Yeah, exactly. Because of course she has on a bra. Mm-hmm. And if she doesn't, okay, kudos to her. But of yeah. course she has on a bra, and they're gonna do that. They're gonna fix that and and edit it. So, My thing is, I think people overreacted because of the fact that this was probably one of the most yeah. organic sex scenes. Because like throughout the whole series, the only other organic it, well, sex yeah. scene for me was um, Rob Stark and his. His queen at the time. His, 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 his wife. His what? No, I'm thinking the wildling and um John. No, I said Rob Stark. No, yeah. yeah. John Stark well, John was, Snow yeah, with Snow. um fucking or Aegon. John Snow with um Don't call him that. <laughs> exactly. John <laughs> she Snow was with just um, like, wait a minute, uh uh-uh. uh. Well, John Snow with Egret and John Snow with yeah. fucking Daenerys as well. Those were organic. And this was one of the other organic well, things married. because who? John and Daenerys. No, they're not married in real life. It's John and Egret that are married in real You're life. You're right. I know. Yeah, yeah. So like, She's, they did those, a sketch on SNL. Yeah. So those um, those were some of the most organic scenes, other than just having tits and ass like thrusting your face. Yeah. And whatnot, and for her to realize like, hey, this is our last na- our last yeah, night, pretty like, much. Like, I'm like, who the fuck wouldn't do that either? Like, yeah, like if you hadn't had sex ever, if you were still a virgin, if you are. Younger than what you really are, if or char- you look the, younger the than what you are. Like twelve, I'm not twelve, maybe fifteen. I'm sure that the character's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm interested, and I think I'm going to die. Yeah, you know what other scene like for me was like really cool. So when they were like giving out food, when Sir Davos was giving out food to the to the people and, and then the little, little girl, girl was just the like, little girl was no. like I want to fight. I was like fight, I was like yes, but then she also looked like um Princess Shireen, the yes. one that got burnt. So like he like stopped and didn't know what to do and when how Gilly handled that whole situation yeah. was dope as hell. By the way, she's actually probably pr- really pregnant because she like put weight on her face yeah. and everything. You could tell like she was wearing a lot of clothes and all that stuff. She was yeah, she was she was pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. She's um she looked good though. No, she looked good. Yeah. But the uh but yeah, that scene was dope, and she was like, "Well, we need, you know, we need somebody Everyone. down there um, protecting the." She was like, "All right, 
I'll defend the people down there. I was like, yo, that little girl's a fucking gangster. Yeah, and she reminded me yeah. of Liana Stark. And yeah. going to Liana, not, not to Liana Stark, Liana Mormont. Yeah. Going to Liana Mormont, telling her cousin to stand the fuck down that she's going to fight anyway. She's a little yeah. ass girl looking at her like, I'm going to fight. I'm not going to go down there. Well, how do I look? And I was just like, that was great. you fucking tell her and she might die. <laughs> I don't want her to die. If there's anybody that needs to live, it's her. We finally saw Ghost again. Yeah. Um. In the trailer for next week, like he's standing on the fucking right behind John. Ghost is there. He just fucking pops up out of nowhere. He's a ghost. So, um, what else did you think? You that know was what crazy I from... what I just realized is really useless. Mm. Arya's um ta- uh, skill of assassinating. Being... Yeah. Oh, the faceless. Yeah. Because at this point, it's not. It you're going into battle. You're not going yeah. into assassinate people. Yeah. You're just unless not... unless. She was definitely assassin. She goes and free. kills one of them. Yeah, for sure. She was definitely assassin. She goes and kills one of the White Walkers, takes his face. If she can take dead people faces, that would be nuts. If she could if take she dead could people be faces, the one to do some over. shit like that. It's over. I don't know what else that to say. would be crazy. Like she kills a White Walker. But the thing is, when you kill a White Walker, they fucking shatter. So you yeah. might not be able to. Yeah. Mm, She's gonna I don't be, know. Yeah. She's gonna be able to just paint her face blue. We'll see. She might, she might have a big part to play. Genji might die because he already built all the fucking yeah, things he, that he has. Nothing else for him to do. There's nothing really else for him to do. Um, a lot, a lot of people are gonna die next episode, man. A lot of people. I hope these don't die. Some of them, I honestly speaking, I'm he being can't real with die you. Because then John might die again. Yeah. yeah, and the reason why he might die is because he already died once. So people might be expecting it already, like, and it might soften the blow, but it might not. Or Daenerys might die. Daenerys might kill him. Either one might kill who? John? Yeah. Or the other way around, too. Just to kill the Night King. It's because good. in order to kill the Night King, you have to, like, kill... He has to kill... Well, the person has to kill the one that they love the most. And right now, they love each other the most. Yeah. So, like, That's- if he kills her... His sword becomes Lightbringer, and then he's able to like actually kill the Night King. I don't know. That's how the myth goes for Azor Ahai, but who the fuck knows? Fuck or you could interpret it as, for some reason, Jamie killing Cersei is killing the one he loves the most, or maybe he might. I would or maybe that. now he might be in love with Brienne or something like that. Have who the fuck knows? He probably was always is loving yeah. him, but not really loving him. She's it's in love there. with him, but. She not at a conscious level, at a subconscious level, most yeah. likely. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, that's that's the homie. I fuck with him. Yeah, that's my guy. That's a Netflix and chill. If, if <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. Like it's, um, it's starting. It's there. No, it's Maybe. there, and even on his end too. Like, yeah, yeah. So you, you could tell that. Um, but I mean, what else? What else in that? Oh, the the scene when they went to go when. Danny went to uh, Sansa to like hash things out. Oh, that great was a great scene. conversation. Right up till Sansa was like, so what the fuck are you going to do about the North once we get through this? And she was like, mm-hmm. and she just took her, exactly, <laughs> took her hand off and it got interrupted luckily. Yeah. But it's true, like, John never wants the crown. Yeah. And on top of that, at the end, we had him finally reveal that, like, you know, hey, I'm Aegon Targaryen. Just so you know, your dad, I'm your aunt, you, your, my auntie. Exactly. Your dad fucked my mom. Which was, yeah. So he told him everything. And the only thing she realized is like, that means you're the true heir. He doesn't want to be the fucking king, dude. Yeah. You could tell. But he didn't say it. He didn't say the it either. Point is he's but not he talking. was going to. He probably was going to. But then the fucking. He probably says, I just want, my, want the north. Yeah. But the thing is, he also. Who the fuck wants the north? Like I said, the easiest thing that Who you didn't. The, the, cold the, the easiest time. thing Scandinavians, nah. Russians, Canadians. People that live in like the right North next Pole? to Canada, <laughs> the North Pole, Maine. <laughs> Why? Penguins. Why are there people up to Alaska? Why? Are Nova Scotia, there? Greenland, Iceland, Vermont. Arctic Circle, Antarctica, at the tip of Argentina. I don't know. It's cold in all these places. I'm just saying. The thing is, it's cold in Dallas sometimes too. Yeah, it'd be cold in Dallas. Yeah, it'd be cold. It'd, it'd, it's it'd, cold everywhere. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. That that's, that's it's, it's gonna to be me. interesting the next episode because like everybody's gonna fucking die. But the thing is. It's it's Speaking just a matter of, cold of places. Was that not just a, a snow crab underwater? Yeah, it yeah it was. Um, <laughs> Again, that's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Um, Ooh, the mouth. 
<laughs> That's what it looks like it's said. <laughs> but um, no, the next episode's good. So like, who are you, who are you picking to die the next episode? Who do you feel like they're gonna die? I don't want everyone in that cave to die. As far as um, Tormund, uh, Tyrion, Tormund might die. He really has nothing else. He's done a lot of fucking fights. He's done a lot, and he's helped a lot. Yeah. And you thought he didn't get out of Eastwatch. I mean, you saw the trailers, he was alive, but, like... How he, he got out was crazy. Exactly. So, it just depends on what they want to do and how they do it. I mean, there's only, what, four episodes left? This is so stupid. So trash. So it has to end eventually, but, hey... With six episodes, that's pissing me off. Man, it has to get done. But yeah, man, it's it's gonna be super interesting. It's gonna be all battle next week. I can't wait to see how the hell. Do you think they beat the Night King next week? At a major cost. Beat him at a major cost. Yes, I think like. But yeah, you win the battle too. Oh, Grey Worm's gonna die too. The way he kissed fucking Masande right know, before yeah, he went out. Yeah, he knows it's over. The reason you, the reason why he doesn't a lot wear of people are gonna die. Of course, yeah. he the reason why <laughs> a lot of people are gonna die. That song at the end... Everyone said their goodbyes. Yeah, and that song at the end, like, <clears throat> that was being sung, like, you I don't have... A, I saw your tweet about that. Yeah, you don't I have a woman... Like, you don't have a woman singing that type of song at the end of an episode with the credits rolling for no reason. Was she That's heavy, like a was death she heavy song. Set? I don't know. It was just... Because you know what they're saying. The fat lady sings? Yes. Yeah, exactly. It might be over. It might be over, so... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully it's over for the night. <laughs> he really hates him. Yes, I Hopefully do. Hopefully we don't have to have him here next week. Hopefully, for me, I personally think the Night King should win. push him out the chair. I think the Night King should win, for me. I, that's how I would end it. You know, uh, but... I wouldn't be mad. But put it this way, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, mad be mad if he won. won. won either. Yeah. Like the whole... The way everything's been being set up. Oh, so do you think this is like a hint of what's happening to the world? Or dead bodies. There's too many dead bodies. And we're not treating our earth right. Are you still high? No. <laughs> no. It's still in me. It's apparently still in me, though. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, I really feel like he's going to win. He might. He might. We'll, we'll see what happens next week. Um, It's going to be an interesting thing. But I think that's all we have now, yeah, honestly. What else is happening um, next week that that's, we're that's it. interested in? Oh, the Avengers, but yeah. we'll talk about that next week. It's gonna be the battle of oh my battle of Winterfell this is gonna be and a Avengers nine next hour week. Conversation it might be a week. longer episode next week for sure. It's not even might be. It's gonna be a longer conversation. It's gonna be like at least ha- half an hour. So each. that means I have to go see this. I told you you had to go watch it. If you gotta go watch that shit at one sixty first, you go um, watch yeah, that well, shit. shit. It's comfortable exactly. there now. People, yeah, it is. Yeah, um, people don't like going there anymore. I really like yeah. going there, but it's comfortable and it's close. Yeah. I'm going to Saturday. But yeah, with that being said... And hopefully I can sneak into the two movies I want to see because I still haven't seen Captain Marvel. You should probably watch that first. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with that being said, that's the end of the episode. Thank I you think for that's the watching. I'm for. <laughs> <laughs> episode 120 of I Pokes and Chokes. You can follow us on Twitter at Pokes and Chokes. Myself at underscore Mr. T- Mr. Alex 25 underscore. The guy on my left at... M U underscore K E W L A. You can follow us on Instagram at that. Pokes Chokes Podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>, somewhere. <laughs> uh, Facebook.com slash Pokes and Chokes. Patreon.com slash Pokes and Chokes. That's ugly ass face. Redbubble and Threadless that I still need to fucking update because I keep forgetting about updating it. I do have the new, do the new things to upload to Redbubble and to, to Threadless. Send and that um, yeah, I should probably do that. And uh, you could listen to us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play how, Music, you, Stitcher, and um, they can't see my hands. I know, and, but I can't. <laughs> this is how you hold it. And uh, Transistor. So, yeah. Thanks for listening. Yes, Thanks for watching. Love Transistor. And we have, have to a look good at week. The... Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Peace. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs>